And the last principle is number seven, tailoring. The whole of the official manual's longest chapter, chapter 19, is dedicated to tailoring. The PRINCE2 project management methods official manual is written to apply universally to every project. This means that the total set of guidance provided is inappropriate to any specific project until tailored to the project's actual environment type, organisation, geography or culture, size, complexity, importance, capability and risk. Embedding is the adoption of PRINCE by the organisation. It's a one-off exercise. Tailoring, on the other hand, is the application of the embedded method to a project's specific characteristics. Neither a robotic application of the whole manual nor a heroic rejection of every element of guidance is appropriate. Instead, the method's elements must be selected and emphasized or de-emphasized to suit each project. Tailoring requires the project manager and the project board to make decisions about how the method will be applied to align organizational standards everyone's normal business duties and the project's specific activities to integrate with the business processes and services such as human resource management, financial control or procurement services that are in normal use in the organisation. Tailoring must balance frequency and formality of information flows. For example, do we use documents or just hold discussions? The review and decision-making processes for example, are they via formalised meeting or not, with the cost of those controls and the project scale, complexity, importance, capability and risk. Project controls are normally defined in the initiation stage and confirmed or amended at each stage boundary. Tailoring is thus typically described in the project's project initiation document as created in initiating a project and amended in managing stage boundaries.